Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Coleman Mitchell, and I'll be presenting on Red Bull's application of drone technology within their marketing materials. And I chose this because I'm a Stratcom student, and I'm always curious to see how companies are using new technology to convey a message. And I think they did a great job here by their short film called From Avorius with Love, which features a French athlete, Valentin Deluc, skiing through the Avorius Ski Resort. And he is Paris Scheme, which kind of represents the Red Bull's brand message of peak athleticism and extreme sports. And it's an evoked set as to what you think of when an energy drink would sponsor something like this. So they flew within a Class G airspace, and I'm using the sectional chart that I found. I don't know if it's in accordance with the same regulations as the United States with the FAA, but if we go by that same set of principles, you don't need permission to fly in this um, airspace where the little star is. And they did obtain permission to touch the roofs of the buildings on the ski resort, and that's through Cross, Cross Country Magazine that they verified this. And I wanted to know whether it's permitted to ski on this or to fly a drone on this private property and whether you need a permit for that, because it's typically banned to fly a drone on ski resorts globally. Uh, ethically, I think they operated pretty well. They uh, were off season, so there weren't people to fly over, which we all know is illegal. And the footage is raw and there isn't a lot of editing uh, or additional sounds added, if any. So the integrity of what's shot is pretty strong. Here's some examples of the different uh, shots they took. And I don't have time to go through these, unfortunately, but I'll post the links in the description. So strategic implications, uh, their messaging strategies that were used were celebrity endorsement. You have a professional athlete here. It's a branded form of entertainment. So you have a short internet video, and that's to improve brand popularity. And you're associating it with this extreme sport. And they do have product placement. The athlete is actually drinking and consuming the product mid stunt, which you see in this picture here. Uh, the drone complements this by always keeping the Red Bull logo within the frame, even midair, whether it's the athlete or the signage, you always see Red Bull in the frame. It's effective for capturing the fast moving object because this guy is flying around if you watch this full thing. And um, it adds a lot of different perspectives that you wouldn't get otherwise. Um, and I think it's really effective for this aerial sport. Uh, it highlights the social meeting with key attributes. Um, again, you know, peak performance, athleticism, extremeness. Um, so I think that's really conveyed here um, through this video. Overall, it adds unique perspectives that complements the brand messaging. It's entertaining, so you definitely get an entertaining. I've watched this several times just for fun because I thought it was that good. And you get aerial videography, so you're selling the brand without the need for words or elaboration. Um, it's just really speaking for itself. It's a bit repetitive. You see the athlete kind of doing the same thing over and over again, um, despite how cool it is. Um, so I think they could have kind of maybe switched it up a little bit more. Uh, the product is taking a back seat over the stunts. So it's emphasizing the stunts rather than the actual product itself, like the actual can of Red Bull Energy. And it's also enhancing the brand more than the product. So we don't really see how Red Bull is enhancing their performance, but Red Bull is implying that it does through this extreme sport. So here are some discussion questions. Feel free to leave some answers um, in the comment section um, or reach out to me directly if you have any more questions or comments related to the presentation. But thank you so much for listening. Appreciate it.